Welcome to another week of Tesla news. Thank you for joining me. We've got some autopilot stuff, new 8.0 release, Model S, 3 and X news. Stay tuned. To start off the show on, unfortunately, a little bit of a sad note, um, actually a lot of a sad note. The first reported fatality in a Tesla where autopilot was engaged uh, is in the news and there's, there's a lot of press, primarily because Tesla put out a blog post about what happened and unfortunately there was someone driving their Model S and they had uh, autopilot enabled and there was a tractor trailer that drove out in, in, in front of them and they went into it and neither the driver or the autopilot stopped and it, it went underneath it and uh, unfortunately he did not survive so uh, there's, there's a lot of news about it they're saying that it's the first you know autonomous car to kill someone and that's not necessarily the case and, it, and Tesla points out that unfortunately there's auto accidents all the time and there's a lot of people that die um, in car accidents every single day the autopilot is still significantly safer like at least 50 percent safer having it on than off and as long as you're you know paying attention you're holding on to the wheel and you're ready to take over at any time it's still you know very safe. Uh, Mobileye put out also a press, uh, a press release saying that the collision avoidance system was not meant for uh, lateral traffic. Like these were two highways that were intersecting and the trailer pulled in in front of the, the Tesla and the Tesla hit it or well went under it and took off the top of the car. Um, it's just really sad. Let me, let me know what you think below. Uh, is it going to set back? you know, autonomous cars because of this incident? Uh, or, you know, is it, was it just up to the driver? Or, as it was pointed out in the article, it was a white trailer and it was, you know, like, I think the sun was in the way. And I think there's act accidents like this a lot of the time where people just simply can't see, or, you know, their vision's kind of impaired and they just can't see what's happening or it happens too soon or it's, it's just an unfortunate accident. They're going to do further investigations. They're actually, you know, looking into the driver. He said that the guy in the Tesla was watching Harry Potter, but if you watch his Tesla videos, he has videos on YouTube. He listens to audiobooks, and you can't watch video on a Tesla. Uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of, we'll, we'll see where this goes and where it comes out. Just, just really sad all around, really. Anyways, on a, on a happier note, <laughs> Uh, there's some news about the 8.0 release of the software for the for the Teslas. So right now we're at 7.1 on the Model S and X, and version 8 is coming out soon. It's already in beta, and it's going to have a whole new interface. So it's, they say it's going to be the biggest interface update yet on on the Teslas, which is I guess needed because it's it's kind of it's kind of dated. It's been out a few years. So some of the things they're going to do is auto lane exit which in a way it kind of does right now. Like if you switch lanes uh, on autopilot and it gets into the farthest lane that becomes an exit, it will take that exit. So I don't know how that, I guess if it's going to identify it better or do it better, but uh, that's one of the things they're talking about. The display in front of the car, the dash uh, behind the steering wheel is going to show more accurate representation of the vehicles. So like when they're turning, it'll show their profile and it'll be handy so it'll be kind of cool they're talking about redesigned maps and navigation which also could use a good update <laughs> they're finally going to add some new turn list options for routing to avoid toll roads alternate supercharger routes and they're also going to update the media player can't wait uh, hopefully it'll be out of beta here in a few weeks or maybe a few months but soon depends on how the beta testing goes i'll be sure to show you in the video when i have it supercharger news so Ruby Tuesdays is working with Tesla on putting superchargers at a lot of their locations. So that's going to be cool. You have a nice place to eat, uh, use the bathroom, supercharge. More superchargers is better, <laughs> especially with the Model 3 coming out. We need more of them fast. Even with just the current Teslas being sold, we, we, we could really use some more right away. Uh, Bjorn posted a video saying that the speed on the 90D charging and superchargers has gone up. It used to be that the 90D took longer to charge than the 85, so that, that made sense. I mean, it was a bigger battery pack, it would take longer to charge. But apparently, because it's a bigger battery pack, they allow you to charge at the higher rate of the supercharger for longer, and it's about 15% faster now. 
So that's cool. Like, so you can actually, you know, spend less time at a supercharger if you're going between superchargers to charge. If you have the 90 kilowatt pack, you can, you'll be spending less time waiting. So that, that's good news. And that means like when they come out with bigger ones, like 100 kilowatt packs and stuff, it'll probably be the same thing. They'll let you charge for a longer period of time at the higher rate. So the overall charge is faster. Because the way superchargers work is uh, when the battery is empty, it charges at the fastest rate possible. And as it gets to the fuller half, it slows down gradually at the charge rate. So that's cool that it'll extend out the, the time. Let me know if you have a Tesla, if you've if you experienced this. I mean, have you noticed a software update that just came out and all of a sudden you can charge faster at superchargers? <laughs> so that's just really cool. And the really big news that I didn't mention came out right after I posted my last video is uh, Tesla is going to buy Solar City. So they're work, working on a $2.8 million deal in stock to basically merge Solar City and Tesla, which I think is a good idea all around because, you know, you'll have all the Tesla stores for Solar, Solar City and vice versa, and they'll be able to work together on selling each other's products and setting up with a full solution with the car, the solar panels, the home battery. I think it's good. Let me know if you think it's good or not, but I guess um, stock market, not so much. They don't have as much faith. I guess Solar city has been having a harder time lately, but Tesla's doing doing pretty good. Well, I think I think it's good. We'll see. Model S news. There was a Tesla Model S that was uh, kind of slightly modified. They took out the interior guts so it could go up Pike, Pike's Peak, and it broke the EV world record. Uh, it's interesting if you look at like the video and pictures. They've got like ice packs like cooling it off because I mean, it's a really steep grade. Very cool. The new uh, integrated center console is now available to purchase to put into your Tesla if you wanna have rear cup holders in addition to the front cup holders. It looks really cool. It's just like what they have in the Model X now. Uh, kind of pricey, but cool. It's interesting on Reddit, I was on Reddit and they, they were showing this Maserati dealership comparing a Model S to a Maserati. And the specs were like not even close to being right. <laughs> they took like the highest price of the Tesla. It was, it was weird. It was like a higher price Tesla and um, the lower s features of a lower price Tesla are, and not even quite right. They were just off all over the place. Uh, but they saw the backlash and they, they took it down. <laughs> it, it's kind of cool. People can't get away with that stuff anymore. I find it interesting because it's really hard to compare Tesla to other cars because a lot of things just don't exist. I mean, like like how many speeds is it, are in the transmission? There's no transmission, it's one speed. So it's just the instant torque. Um, horsepower you can kind of compare, but it's still different. It's just very different. It's hard, it's like comparing apples and oranges. Model 3 news. So there was a leak about a 300 kilowatt inverter architecture being put into the Model 3, which means that the power of the new Model 3 will be about the same as a Model S, which is cool because for a car half the price, it might have similar performance um, in terms of speed, which is in horsepower, depending on the motors that they put in it. But anyways, it'll be it'll be really a really good car for thirty five thousand dollars. They're saying that they kind of redesigned the whole thing. Um, this is this is what takes the power from the battery to the motor, and they've optimized it and made it much better. And they're going to in less components uh, in house, better reliability. It's just all around is supposed to be a lot better. So this is, this is good news for the Model 3. And, uh, you know, S and X will probably integrate it in the future too. So that's, that's, that's all good news. The way Tesla works is, you know, they'll, they'll get this Model 3 one up to the, close to the specs of the S and X and the new Model S and X is, you know, they'll make some ludicrous thing out of it. So it, <laughs> it'll be interesting. Uh, I guess Elon Musk or Tesla wanted to be like Willy Wonka and they decided to give 12 gold tickets to the Gigafactory to reservation holders. So if you, are a reservation holder for a Model 3, uh, let me know in the comments below if you got the golden ticket. Uh, I guess they're sending 12 people over there, uh, all expenses paid, I guess, or at least the flight and the hotel to go to the grand opening. I'll be there. I can, uh, we can meet and I can say hi if you want. <laughs> uh, I, I was fortunate enough um, through you guys actually using my my code, my referral codes. And I won tickets way back at the first referral. And again, at this latest referral, so I get to go with one guest, even though I won two, it's not clear yet if I can take another guest. Um, but the guest I am taking, uh, Todd, he has uh, referral code still that isn't fully used up. Mine are used up, you can't use them in this round anymore 
uh, to the July 15th, but you can use his, and I'll have a link to that below. Use Todd's code, and you can save a thousand bucks on your uh, Model S or X. Model X news. So it's interesting. GQ, GQ put out an article on the Model X saying it's the least boring SUV, which is interesting. <laughs> they go to point out a, a, a you know a lot of the benefits, also a lot of stuff that's not so great about the X. Um, mainly the X, and even Elon Musk said this, is just, they crammed everything into that car. I mean, it can do so much. It's just, it's really cool. I mean, the Falcon Wing doors, the ventilated seats, cup holders, <laughs> um, and just the middle row is awesome as a passenger because you can, you can tilt it and move it like a front seat. And unfortunately, some of those things also have drawbacks. So it's a bigger car, it can hold more people, but it gets less range. It can tow, but then you have less range when you tow. And people don't know where to park their stuff that they're towing when they're supercharging. Um, it's on an awesome view with a huge windshield, uh, but it's kind of expensive to replace. <laughs> Apparently the first news article was saying that it was uh, thousands of dollars to replace was inaccurate. Tesla corrected the pricing and now it's like, I think it was like 850 bucks to replace, which is still more than double a normal windshield, but it's normal more than double the size of a normal windshield. Makes sense. Uh, also, there's glare from that, which Tesla is corrected by sending out free little meshes that you can put up there, like wind, um, sunscreens. So that's cool. I, I put one of those in the back of my Model S for the kids when they're riding in the back, and it, it works really well, and it looks really good. It looks basically like you have a tinted windshield. So they, they also did an update that came out for the Model X to make it more sensitive uh, when the Falcon wing doors open up. So that's, that's a new software update that makes it better. Um, it kind of defaults on an error, error of caution now, and you can fully extend if you can visibly see it and you know there's nothing above you, even though it might have a, you know, a little thing that is detecting, like, I don't know, leaves or something. Very interesting car. There was one buyer that was not happy with it. I think I reported on it. He was invoking the lemon law, he wanted Tesla to buy it back. He said it had too many flaws from the get-go and just wasn't what he was expecting. Um, so Tesla, they, they bought it back from him. They, um, and they've been working like crazy the past few months just to, on quality assurance, just to make every X off the line like as perfect as possible. I believe they've been doing a much better job on the Xs and they're, they're coming off the line a lot better. The ones I've written in are just awesome and they look so cool. I, I really want one. <laughs> Even at like $5,000 more than the S, all the new features they've added in just the year that I've had my S has increased the price um, by like $10,000. And then like mine has, since I have 50,000 miles on it, gone down in value significantly. So that my cost to upgrade would be way more than I can afford. So um, I don't know, hopefully I'll win one with referrals. That'd be cool, I don't know. <laughs> uh, again, thank you for using my referral if you did. Uh, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy your new Tesla. That's it for the news this week. Please subscribe. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep these videos out every every week. I'm going to try and put them out on Tuesdays. I've been traveling a lot, um, hence the name Tesla Trip. I went on a cool trip to Custer last month, and I'll be putting out a video on it soon. It was a cool gathering. There was like 59 Teslas. The majority of the hotels there have chargers. There was like 36 charging area uh, places. It was it was really cool. Thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't, please do comment below. I love the comments. I'll answer as many as I can. Thank you so much. See you next week. Come out and play. Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry. Like, you know, like, like with the bass. Like, mm -hmm. What is that? Okay, where is this saying? You don't understand how it's a huge deal. Start watching all the videos. Another game save exploit. The cool thing about this one is it works with all PCs across the board. I know I could get at least 5,000 on the stream. Looks stronger to me. Yes, it's a lie. I'm Yago. I'm Couch Guy. Hi, I'm Box. And I'm Raggable. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What? And where can you find that? You better go wait outside. We don't, we don't want any trouble.